doing physics? Who's doing chemistry? Okay, you know the periodic elements? Where do, they, where do you think they get it from? No? I mean, remember, the scientists that you talk about, they were not here before the Bible. They came after. So guess what? This is the only true book on the earth. And all the scientists that you talk about, they are trying to disprove the Bible and they cannot. And they're using the Bible to do their science. Now, give me wisdom of Solomon 7. When he says, he give, uh, give me 7, 17. Read that. The wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 17. Listen good. I give you doing science. Listen. For he had given me certain knowledge of the things that are. Because King Solomon was, there, was a black man, a king in Israel. Our forefather. And he understood science and how the world was created. Read. Namely, to know how, how the world was made. So King Solomon, our forefather, knew how the world was created. Keep reading. And the operation of the elements. What are these elements? The periodic table of elements. Where do you think the white man gets it from? The Bible. The white man is not smarter than the Bible. He's not smarter than your forefathers in the Bible. That's right. Their forefathers in the Bible, they were smarter than all nations on earth. Do you understand that? Do you understand that the greatest people that walked the earth, that were smart, that were clever, that was wise. Do you know it's black people? We are reading about them right now. Because they say something that you cannot see and touch doesn't exist. So they don't believe in God. Wait, 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 wait. Remember. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Remember. There's science, because there's science in the Bible. Okay? There's science in the Bible, and the science that they've taught us contradicts the Bible. It doesn't mean that in the Bible there's no science. There is science in the Bible. You understand that? Okay. So the science that they've taught us contradicts what this Bible is saying. But the science in the Bible proves that the science in the world to be false. You follow it? So there's nothing wrong with science as long as it doesn't contradict the Bible. Then we're good. Yes, sir. Is there scientists that believe in God? Okay, let, now, now let's, let's, let me ask you a question. When you say science, tell me what you mean. Because which science are you talking about that when you believe or um, if you believe it more than the Bible? What are they teaching you about science? We can't be going deep into how this was formed. I'm not doing that. Okay, give me X7. Give me, give me wisdom of Solomon 7. Let's go there, Naomi. Who's doing physics? Who's doing chemistry? Okay, you know the periodic elements? Where do, they, where do you think they get it from? No? I mean, remember, the scientists that you talk about, they were not here before the Bible. They came after. So guess what? This is the only true book on the earth. And all the scientists that you talk about, they are trying to disprove the Bible and they cannot. And they're using the Bible to do their science. Now, give me wisdom of Solomon 7. When he says, he give, uh, give me 7, 17. Read that. The wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 17. Listen good. I give you doing science. Listen. For he had given me certain knowledge of the things that are. Because King Solomon was, there, was a black man, a king in Israel. Our forefather. And he understood science and how the world was created. Read. Namely, to know how, how the world was made. So King Solomon, our forefather, knew how the world was created. Keep reading. And the operation of the elements. What are these elements? The periodic table of elements. Where do you think the white man gets it from? The Bible. The white man is not smarter than the Bible. He's not smarter than your forefathers in the Bible. That's right. 
There are forefathers in the Bible that were smarter than all nations on earth. Do you understand that? Do you understand that the greatest people that walked the earth, that were smart, that were clever, that was wise. Do you know it's black people? We are reading about them right now. Read that Bible again. Wisdom of Solomon 7 verse 17. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 verse 17. But you see, the problem is you're not paying attention. You're not listening, man. Because how are you going to learn while you're talking? That's why we've got two ears and one mouth. You listen so you learn. Come on. For he had given me certain knowledge of the things that are. So King Solomon is talking about who? God gave him wisdom and knowledge. Read. Namely, to know how the world was made. So King Solomon understood how the world was made. In the in science, in the in the schools, they said there was a big bang. The big they said there was a, an explosion. So what happens when it, if I if that building gets exploded with a bomb, is it gonna be formed? What's gonna happen to it? So the sense that you are taught, it doesn't make sense? It doesn't make no sense. You don't get creation out of an explosion, man. Exactly. You don't you don't get a creation out of an explosion. There's no such thing as the Big Bang Theory. It's just a lie. Because you remember the World Trade? The two towers in the US that was bombed? The World Trade Center? Maybe you were not born yet. 9-11. You know about 9-11? So listen, when they drop a bomb on a building, what's going to happen to the building? It's going to be destroyed. So how do you get formation over an explosion? It's garbage. Now read the Bible again. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 17. Listen good. For he had given me such a knowledge of the things that are, read, namely, yeah. to know how the world was made Come on. and the operation of the elements. So King Solomon is letting you know that the Lord used the, open, the elements to form Adam. That's why all the minerals that you find on the periodic table you find in the human body. Because the periodic table of elements was formed in the Bible. The white man didn't come up with that. That's right. Keep reading. The beginning, ending, and midst of the time. So King Solomon understood the beginning of time, the middle of time. He also knows how the world is going to end. Read. The alterations of the turning of the sun. So the sun, what moves between the sun and the earth? The what now? Read the Bible again. It was over Solomon chapter 7 verse 18. The beginning, ending, and midst of the time. Listen, let's see what's moving. Is it the sun on the earth? Read. The alterations of the turning of the sun. So what's turning? What's doing the turning? The what now? Is it the earth? Is the sun. The sun is the one that's doing the moving. Yeah, they lie to you. They lie to you. Go school of both. Go school of they lie to you. You know why? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a simple question. You know when they send the satellite up there? The satellite, when it goes up there, they inner fuel inside of it. It's got rocket fuel. When What does it do when it's up there? Uh, what it does it do? So it rotates around the what? So if the sun, the, 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 what rotates? The satellite is the one that's moving. Not the earth. The satellite is the one that's in motion, not the earth. The Bible says the thing that moves is not the earth, it's the sun. There's, cause, no, hold on. You know, it's very simple, man. So, because when you say the sun is rising, what are you saying? Oh, wait, wait. In the morning, what does the sun do? The sun. So, where, where does it go? What does it do? Does it move? Does it, is it standing still? What? The sun is not standing still. Come on, man. What are you doing, man? The sun is the one that's doing the rotating. Read the Bible again. Come on. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 18. I'm going to show you that the science that you are being taught in school, it contradicts the way the world was created by the Heavenly Father himself. Read that again. Listen, it's the opposite, exactly. So that's why today we're here to show you that everything that you learn was a lie. And we're going to show you the truth according to what is written. Read the Bible again. The, the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 18. Listen, go. Listen, 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 man. Come on. The beginning, ending, and midst of the times. Go ahead. The alterations of the turning of the sun. So the sun is the one that turns. Come on. And 
the change of seas and the change of seasons. But the circuits of years. The circuits of years meaning what? The, the when the years go by. Come on. And the positions of stars. Rain. The natures of living creatures. And the the fury. And the furies of wild beasts. Rain. The violence of winds. And the reasoning of men. Uh -huh. The diversities of plants. And the virtues of roots. And all such things as are either secret or manifest, them I know. So King Solomon was the wisest man. He understood how the world was operating. That's what the white man is trying to do right now. That's why he's following the end. He's putting a camera on the ends behind, following what the end is doing. You understand? He put a camera on a cockroach to see what the cockroach is going, what the cockroach is doing. He's going under, underneath the earth. He's going deep sea to follow the animals to see. What... King Solomon understood that just by wisdom. He didn't have to put a camera on a dolphin to see what it does. He understood their spirits and how they moved also. These are our forefathers, by the way, not the white men. Yes. Of course I wasn't there. I'm reading about it. Because I'm reading about it. It's very simple, man. I'm reading about it. Isaiah 46 and 10. I'm reading about it, man. You see, this book, man, is so magnificent that it even tells you about the history that you were not even born. You didn't even exist in that time. And it's telling you what's going to happen in the future and how. It's telling you what our condition is right now as black people today. Read the Bible. Yes, the Bible. But Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10. Listen good. Declaring the end from the beginning. So the most High God declared the end from the beginning. That's why we go to the book of Genesis. The book of beginnings. Read. And from ancient times. The things that are not yet done. So we can read about the ancient times that we're not even living in. The things that are not yet done. We can tell you about them. Through the Lord. Read. Saying, my counsel shall stand. So everything that we're reading, it has happened. Some of, the, some of it is happening now. Some of it is yet to happen. Read. And I will do all my pleasure. And the Lord will do all his pleasure. So he's using us to read this book to teach it to you. 